Hey, welcome back. I'm sorry about that. I just keep getting rudely interrupted from um, telemarketers. They used to just harass home phone lines and now they've gotten smarter. They're not calling landlines anymore. They're calling more like cell phone owners like myself. So I just switched my phone to the do not disturb um, option. Um, that way my the rest of my video doesn't get interrupted. Um, but anyway, so what I was showing you was I got this coat, which was Westport brand. I'm not too familiar with that brand, but anyway, it was only $9 and, um, it's just like, you know, your corduroy slash jean jacket that I feel like will never go out of style goes with anything you can I suggest getting like multiple of these in different colors if you can because it's an easy outfit that you don't have to like put a lot of thought into and you still look put together and it goes with like anything underneath as you can see and I, I just like all the, like the gold button details and um, it fits really well and it's that reddish purple color fall color that I feel like is really popular right now okay and then I think I only got one more jacket so this jacket was another more expensive one um, it was $18 but it is the Ray brand oh, I'm trying to show you guys the tag See the art. Crap. The art, <laughs> the R E I type of brand. Oh my god, I suck at this. Okay, but just take my word for it that it's that like hiking, like mountain gear type of brand. The R E I. Okay, see. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let me show you what it looks like on. This is like a good like all weather type of jacket. And it's got like this cool um, gray like waterproof I believe type of material. Inside it um, has these like pull strings if you wanted to tighten it. Um, I believe, yep, I believe you can unzip the top part if you're like, oh, I don't want my hood on, whatever, you can remove it, but it's obviously like that all-weather type of jacket that's going to be good in rain and snow, and it's kind of a neutral grayish um, maroon type of jacket that's girly, but will go with anything. Um, it's lined inside. It has extra pockets in here, which is always really cool. I'm not sure what that, like, volume symbol means. If any of you guys know what that means, please let me know. But I'm sure that's something kind of handy. Look, more pockets. I'm so excited about more pockets. Oh, here it shows the, the name brand on the outside. It says Recreation Equipment Inc. I guess that's what REI stands for. But anyway, it's in great condition. It looks like brand new. And I feel like it would be great, like, even if we go up to Flagstaff or we go skiing or something, that I could wear this and it would be fine. And it's kind of like a great, it seems like it would be a great, um raincoat and and it's like warm material it's like really soft I'm all about like texture too so I really like that the match the lining is I guess it's polyester inside but it feels like super soft and warm and um I don't know I just love the material of this coat Again, it feels like it'd be great on with rain or snow. Like, it would just slide right off this coat. It's that, like, rain type of material. Okay. 
All right, so now let me show you some other stuff I got. Because I did get a lot of stuff. Okay, shoes. Everybody needs more shoes. That's a girl. I feel like you can never have enough. Um, despite what my husband says. So, um, I got these sneakers. And again, when you're at Goodwill, you want to make sure the sneakers don't look worn. Like, look at the, look at everything when you're shopping there. Make sure that this part, the bottom of the shoe doesn't look worn. It's not like stained if it's white. If it's supposed to be white, it's not like yellow or gray or dingy. But this color the gray and the purple and pink I think is really pretty goes with anything and it doesn't show like stains well so that's good because as far as like it's standing the test of time it's not like a pair of white sneakers that are gonna get dirty real quick and then if you look at the bottom of the shoe it looks like they never even like freaking excuse me it looks like they never even used the sneaker like the sole is not worn at all and also, make sure that the shoes are comfortable, that you actually put them on. Um, I always recommend bringing a pair of socks to see how um, sneakers will feel. Like, keep a pair of extra socks in your purse to make sure they still fit. This is the brand Basics, which is a decent um, sneaker brand. And it just felt really good. It didn't feel like the soles were worn when I put the shoes on. Um, they fit my feet really well. And um, I feel like you always need an extra pair of sneakers. So, and I'm really into working out and everything. So, that's why I got these. And I really like them. And the shoelaces look good. They don't look um, thin. And even, I mean, I guess you could always replace shoelaces if that's all that's wrong with the shoe. But I'm just saying, you can tell that these are like new condition. condition. I don't know that somebody ever really wore these. So, um, definitely check out the condition of the shoes before you buy them. These were $13, which is great. You're not going to find new sneakers in a store for that price. Like, I don't know where you would. Okay, now the other pair of shoes I got are these pretty blue American Eagle shoes. They sell American Eagle shoes, um, obviously American Eagle, but also a lot of times at Payless they sell these anymore. Payless is going out of business, but I tried these on, and the American Eagle shoes are one of the more comfortable pairs of shoes that Payless offers. Um, they have these really cute bows at the top. I like the houndstooth pattern inside. is really pretty. Again, it's kind of like that old money rich look <laughs> that I like, but I really like that like pop of blue color accessories I feel like you can do whatever kind of crazy color you want um whereas clothes I kind of try to keep more neutral and I try to spice up my wardrobe with colorful accessories like these shoes um they're going to be great for any type of outfit and they're only four dollars you can always wear flats I feel like anytime I don't have to wear socks with these or you can if you want but um, they're just like a great staple to have, like another pair of flats. Okay, I think that's all the shoes I got. Then I got these belts. Um, they were all like really cheap. The belts were, this was only a dollar. And what I like about this is it's got this pretty rose um, like belt buckle that I thought was cool and then it's got that cheetah print it's a great neutral that goes with anything it's a skinnier type of belt make sure just like with the shoes or jackets try them on before you go home it's hard to return stuff I feel like at the Goodwill or thrift stores make sure what you're buying isn't going to become more junk that it actually fits you that it is a good buy so, um, I made sure that this fit me, that it wasn't too small or too big, and, um, check out the belt buckle, the, the belt holes. That's where you're going to see a lot of, like, wear and tear if it's not a good quality, um, belt, if it's more like garbage than something you should buy. This doesn't really have 
wear and tear it is a little tiny line but not much if it did have a lot of wear and tear you'd see like a lot of rips it would feel loose here like it might break and flimsy don't buy a belt if it's like that okay the next one I got was also a dollar and it's like a pretty pink pop of color I feel like it will go with a lot of clothes I have I feel like this color coral is very flattering on anybody um, if you're par pale skin like me it's hard to find stuff with color that's actually flattering because a lot of like bright colors will wash you out this color doesn't this coral and teal um, like a pretty bluish green are universally flattering on anybody so that's what I like about this I made sure it does fit me you can see the belt hole is not like ripped right here or torn you'll see like a lot of wrinkles if it's not in good condition but that one obviously is then I got this belt I just love that Dalmatian type of print and if you look real closely you'll see there's like little flowers and it just kind of reminded me of the 60s mod type of clothing and I just love it like it reminds me of something kind of like from Mad Men or something and it's a it's a neutral even though it has a lot going on with it it will go with anything I'm telling you there are some patterns that are busy but are still neutrals because of the color like white and black goes with anything okay all right then I didn't really get any more purses but I did get a bunch of these which are um, wallet holders which I know a lot of people my age don't really do them anymore but I still do because I always have like a lot of crap that I carry like a lot of um, different credit cards, gift cards. Um, I like to carry all my like nursing cards, like my CPR and blah blah, always on me just in case I'm out in public. There's an emergency or something. I can show that. But anyway, this one was only three dollars. For instance, I got one that was like this at TJ Maxx, it was Jessica Simpson, and it was like, I want to say $15, so something like this retails for like $15 new. Um, it doesn't have wear and tear on it, like hardly anything. Um, it has this metal clasp, which is really good, it's going to hold all your stuff in. So you don't have to worry about your credit cards or losing cash. And it's got a ton of pockets inside. This was, yeah, it was only $3. I like the color. I like that it's like crocodile-ish. That is just like a piece of sparkle. Guys, it's not like worn. Okay, and you want to check everything. Make sure. The only thing I see little damage-wise is that little string, which I can just cut off. There's no like... Oh, it's peeled and chipped. Make sure you're looking at the condition. I can't say that enough. Look at the condition of the stuff you're buying before you buy it. Okay, this is, again, another one of those, like, wallet things. I love this. It is a little retro. Um, I love, if you haven't caught on yet, I love stuff that's a little retro inspired. Um probably why I like Betsy Johnson so much but anyway it's green it's like lime green it's got like that shiny um plasticky like faux leather look like in it reminds me of the 60s or 50s and then it's really cute it's got a ton of card holders inside and again a metal class keep everything nice inside this one was two dollars only two dollars okay this was another one I got um is kind of more like westerny it reminded me of Arizona so I had to get it and it has kind of like that crocodile pattern um yeah and just reminds me of like western type of clothing and this was only two dollars it's got a lot of pockets and stuff inside I really like that I only have one like wallet 
and I feel like this would be cool to change out my wallets more like depending on my outfit and like what purse I carry this one is like British inspired um like rock and roll punk and I like it it's a little bit edgier this one was two dollars it's got a bunch of pockets inside and I like it I don't really recognize the the brands of what they are. Oh, this one's a Moondi, which I think is a popular brand. See, it says Moondi. The other ones, I don't recognize the brand of. But I could just tell it was, like, good condition. It doesn't always have to be, like, a name brand, but that definitely helps helps me want to buy it if it is but anyway and then this was like just adorable little pencil case with cupcakes that I'm gonna put like my colored pencils in probably this was only a dollar I just thought it was cute and I like the little cherry I don't know sometimes I just buy things because it's cute <laughs> then I got I forgot to show you one more belt um this was also a dollar it's this pretty like pale pinkish color and it's skinnier it fits me it's in good condition and I like it so and that will go with like anything <clears throat> and then I kept going by all this wedding stuff when I was at the Goodwill and I was like maybe I should just buy it just in case even though I don't know anybody who's getting married because I feel like you always have to get wedding gifts last minute and um, I feel like it's always something good to kind of have on hand because somebody's always getting married. But then I was like, no, I can't think of anybody. And then I kept going past more, more wedding stuff and then finally I was like, I'm an idiot. My mom is getting married in July and my sister's getting married in December. So then I went back and I got a couple things for my mom's wedding. So I got this for her. She is, loves like old fashioned type of stuff. It's just a piece of plastic. Um, this was $4 and it has like that old um, vintage antique type of look. It says to have and to hold from this day forward, yada, yada, yada. It's the wedding, you know, traditional vows. I thought she would like it. It doesn't come with the batteries. So I gotta put those in, but I was going to actually try and get it engraved because it looks like it was. Somebody removed it. I was thinking of going to that place, Things Remembered, and getting her new married name um, engraved on it. And it was only $4, so I think she will really like it. It will go with her house is really old that she's moving into. It will go with that. Uh, then I got these curtains. We needed um, curtains for our living room. We're getting um, a double rod installed and I needed like sheer curtains. These are very basic, but that's okay. I didn't want to get super expensive curtains because I have two cats and I'm pretty sure they're going to rip up whatever nice curtains I get. So these were only $5. If you're getting curtains at the dollar store, make sure you have a set make sure they're not stained a lot of the curtains had like weird yellow stains at the bottom don't buy those because who knows if you can get the stain out or not really inspect them make sure they're not overly wrinkled um they don't have ripped fabric make sure the condition is good make sure they don't smell weird I don't care if I look a little weird, I have to smell stuff, make sure there's no like weird odor. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be spending, especially expensive things, these were only five dollars, but still. Um, so I got those, and then, uh, then I got these, um, in the same room we have gray thick curtains that are going to go on the outside with the sheer curtains inside the middle so I got these they have little tassels and they go with the gray and then black goes with anything these were two dollars each I got two of them and they're going to hold back 
the um, the thick curtains for the most part you know during the daytime they have these handles um, so I was gonna put those on there and then I guess we just have to get like a nail or whatever I'll ask my husband what hardware we kind of need to put these on but I thought they were really pretty and only two dollars for decorative drapery stuff that's cheap um, and like new like new condition then I got this this was two dollars and I thought this would be really pretty in um, our master bath to put the soap um, the hand soap and like the hand soap and I'll show you this like toothbrush holder which this was two dollars it does need to be cleaned Ugh, it looks gross in there but I don't mind um, because it goes with the beach beachy resort theme that we have in our master bathroom I thought this would go perfect in there um, so if it's something that you know you can clean or fix then okay just make sure um, it's not something where you're like I'm never going to be able to get that out or whatever if it is a little bit worn so um, see I think it looks really cute on there and I'm going to put the soap the soap dispenser like right here so maybe in a future video I'll show you guys how that looks all together then I got a couple blankets a couple more blankets because like I said we host a lot and we always need more blankets this one was five dollars and the reason why I got this blanket is because it's brown, it's very neutral, but mostly, whoops, mostly I got it because it is super soft. And it's hard to find blankets at Goodwill or a thrift store that is feels very soft like it's new. So I know that these sheets are very good quality. Um, they're king size, so it's a really big sheet. If you do get um, blankets or clothes from the Goodwill, don't forget to wash them before you wear them. Just in case, you never know um, if they might have had a pest problem or whatever. If, they're, if they bothered to wash them before they donated them, who knows. So I have to wash that. Then I got this blanket. I just love cheetah print. If you guys haven't caught on to that yet. Um, I love it. Um, it feels very soft again. Very plush. So look for it. Make sure the blankets you buy feel nice. They feel full. There's not like a bunch of like thread pulls and rips or stains that still feels thick and like new um, this one was six dollars and I felt like it was a good throw blanket for a couch and then another wedding thing I got was this like Mr. and Mrs. sign that is cute it was five dollars so keep an eye out for stuff like that that you might not need at the moment but you're like oh I could probably use that in the future for a party for um, hosting things for special occasions that happen a lot like weddings like baby showers I always try to do that then versus buying it when you need it because you're usually gonna pay more for it um, and just go wherever because you, you, you're running out of time so Keeping in that same line of thinking, I got this. It's not Christmas time, but I love Christmas. I love to decorate for Christmas. And it says, wishing you the special joy that only Christmas brings. And it's a little bell, and I just couldn't resist. It was too cute. And it was only a dollar. And it's like good ceramic type of material. And I just love that little tree. It, It's like, it looks almost like hand painted or whatever it was only two dollars so that's the other thing is buy stuff out of season is a lot cheaper too if you know you're gonna need it for the holidays just buy it then because it's usually cheaper 
if you buy it out of season. So like Halloween stuff, whatever, buy out of season and you can use it for the next holiday. This I got, I love cute coffee mugs, I love Disney. I feel like this would retail for a lot because usually Disney stuff can be very expensive. It is so popular. And it says sugar and spice. Just like Tinkerbell. So I love Tinkerbell as well. So that's why I got this. But I looked at like, I was like curious what Tinkerbell would kind of retail for. And I looked at similar cups online are like $50 or ridiculous. The Goodwill only charged $5. I don't know that they're aware of how like expensive this stuff can retail for. But anyway, if you're looking for coffee mugs, make sure they're not chipped. I won't buy them if they're like chipped or anything like that. But this is like new condition. I don't know why somebody gave this away. But thank you because now I'm going to use it. And... And then I got this doggy belt. No, I don't have a dog right now, but me and my husband plan on getting a dog in July. So I figured just buy it now. And it's a very cute leash that, um, it's actually Martha Stewart brand. And this one wasn't expensive at all. I don't remember what it was. It's just like a couple bucks. But it doesn't have like a lot of thread being pulled or anything. Okay, guys, so I think that's pretty much all I got. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, and I hope those tips were helpful. Uh, maybe I'll make a separate video just going through the tips if you guys want to see that. If you're just interested in tips only, please um, leave a comment. If you want to see more videos like this, please comment. Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, till next time. Bye, guys.